and intubation is to be taken seriously and any change of the tube shouldn't be taken lightly in these babies except for you mentioned earlier about the 2.0 size so uh, obviously leak compensation is a component in some of the newer ventilators like the Traeger to some extent they are quite efficient but yeah. you cannot rely on them fully and uh, I would refer to Professor Bankalari's lecture on this ventilator modes and you shouldn't be bogged down by thinking that one D volume guarantee works so we have to come out of that and if you see right that the delta P, I mean, the pressure difference between the PIP and the PIP is very low and the baby is actually working hard. Either you have to adjust your volumes, you go to very high volumes, which you may not be comfortable with, or you switch to what you think is reasonable pressure on SAMV or SAPPV and we call it PTV these days. So you just have to titrate the older forms, but the synchronized modes. And as long as you're in a synchronized mode, as long as you're monitoring the pressure, monitoring the baby's gases and things like that, you should be fine. And uh, obviously, when this temporary blip switches on, you can move back to volume guarantee. So I would say 90% of the time we can manage with volume guarantee, but the 10% of the time that volume guarantee isn't working, you should be able to recognize it and say, okay, volume guarantee isn't working. It's not the only mode I know I can use other modes as well. And it doesn't need to be high frequency. It can be one of the standard synchronized modes and you can always keep an eye out for that. So 